Welcome to Superior Profit Weekly Market Roundup, 18th November 2018. I am Sagan Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit, based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. If you want to know more about me, the company Superior Profit, and more importantly, how it can help in your trading, you may visit the website superiorprofit.co and click on the about menu. Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual, in today's topics, we will analyze oil and gold, these two commodities using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. When swing trading, we like to align the trades in the direction of the overall market. We'll study the market's trend using NASDAQ and NYSE market breadth and technical analysis of the broad market ETFs. In addition to aligning trades with the market's direction, we like to align them with the industry strength. We'll study industry strength using scorecard and heat map. Along the way, we may review some of the recent ideas shared in Q Traders Forum and look for potential trades for the coming week. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. We begin our commodities analysis with oil. We are looking at the oil ETF USO using weekly backdrop chart and daily hop on chart. Together, we call this at a glance template because this template helps us decide if there is a low risk swing entry opportunity at the right edge of the chart in only a few seconds. If you are following the market roundups, then you would know that on this day, we analyzed a possible short trading opportunity in US oil. Last week, oil closed on this bar. At that time, I had mentioned, looking at the bearish weekly candle, that there was no need to book complete profit on the trade. One could continue to hold partial position trying to let profit run. That was an useful decision because from there, oil dropped much more. One may use Q protection signal to apply trailing stop on the remaining position to ensure that profit does not erode in case oil goes up from here. Gold ETF GLD Earlier gold was moving in up, down, up, down fashion. There was no clear trend in the daily chart. Price was also inside a triangle pattern bound by resistance memory and support memory. One would not take any trend following trade when price was inside such a triangle pattern. On Friday, price broke out of the triangle pattern. If now price continues to go up, you may look for a low risk buy opportunity using one of the Q unambiguous trade setups. This is another view of gold, this time using gold futures, GC. Gold futures came to the weekly memory support line and reversed from there. If you were keeping an eye on the futures contract, then you could take a long position right at the point that gold reversed, creating a false downside breakout. That trade is already profitable. 
there are multiple memory resistance lines in the daily chart. If you are holding the long position, you may keep an eye on the memory resistance level. If price can break through that, you can continue to hold the long position. If it reverses from the memory resistance level, then you could book profit in the long position. From commodities analysis, we move to market breadth analysis. We are looking at NASDAQ composite index and NYSE composite index, both using weekly charts. Along with three pairs of internals, new high low, advanced decline and up down volume. Because this study is using broad indices and weekly interval, it is to be used more for longer term investment decisions, not so much for swing trading and certainly not for day trading. Both the indices are now moving sideways. They are moving inside triangle pattern with lower highs and higher lows. Unless price can break out of this pattern in either direction, it may not be safe to take directional swing trades. The internals are also mixed. New high low came down, whereas the other internals all went up. Advanced decline as well as up down volume went up and closed above zero but by very small amount. In summary, we may conclude that the market breadth is indecisive. Let us see if this indecision is visible from the market ETF analysis as well. S&P 500 ETF SPY This week we have an indecisive weekly candle with a long lower tail and solid body. The weekly candle color is also neutral yellow. In the daily chart on Thursday and Friday price went up with high activity. However, there is no clear trend and there is no trade setup following the Q unambiguous checklist. If price can go above this memory trend line resistance then you may look for a low risk long entry opportunity in SPY. Right now there is no swing trade opportunity in this ETF. NASDAQ ETF QQQ. Here also we have an indecisive shape candle in the weekly chart. Long lower tail and solid body. Daily is near the value area there is no swing trade opportunity again if it can break above the memory resistance lines you may look for a low risk buy opportunity at that time Dow Jones industrial average ETF DIA again weekly has an indecisive shape candle the color is bearish magenta Daily candle color is also bearish red. The memory resistance line is far away from current price level. We may not expect any easy breakout entry opportunity in the long direction. Instead, if the market drops from here, gives us a magenta color candle in the daily chart, that may give a Go with flow trend following short opportunity. Russell 2000 ETF IWM Indecisive shape candle In the weekly chart, the candle color is neutral yellow. There is no swing entry opportunity in the daily chart at this point. We saw that the market breadth was indecisive. And the same indecisiveness was visible from the market ETF analysis as well. Even in such an indecisive market, drilling down at the sector and the industry levels, you can always find low risk buy and short opportunities. 
4 week sector performance analysis. Here we are analyzing the 11 sectors across 3 review periods. The red bar represents performance of this week. Green bar represents performance of one week prior to the red bar. And the blue bar represents performance of two weeks prior to the green bar. Together, they represent four weeks or about one month of performance. Any bar coming to the right of the zero line shows the sector went up and any bar to the left of the zero line shows the sector went down. This week nine sectors went down. This shows a bearish picture at the sector level. If we look at the bars then we can see that the red, green and blue segments are flip-flopping between positive and negative. The performance bar are therefore showing up down up move in most of the sectors. This shows indecision in the market as if it is waiting for major decisions, trade conflict resolution or Brexit probably. This indecision is seen from the market ETF charts as well as you saw just now. This is not the easiest time to take directional swing trades. Behind the up down up moves overall trend remains bearish as more bars are in the negative over multiple recent periods. We can see that more of the bars are to the left of the zero line than to the right of the zero line. Energy is the worst performer in recent weeks resulting from a rout in oil. If oil ETF USO holds the $12 price level, that may lead to a recovery in the energy stocks. This level had acted as support and resistance in the past. You may keep an eye on USO. If it reverses, then you may have lucrative buy opportunities in energy stocks. Let us revisit the oil ETF once again. There is a watermark level in the weekly chart right at the 12 point. This week price tried to go below that and reverse creating a false downside breakout. The weekly activity was extremely high. The false downside breakout and the extreme high activity may point to a capitulation of bears and it is possible that price will start moving up from here. In the daily chart, there is a quarterly pivot level. Price closed just below that on Friday. If next week price can start going above the pivot point, that may lead to a move up of the energy stocks as well. You may keep an eye on USO. And if the up move comes, then look for potential buy opportunities in energy stocks. A look at the sectors using QH. Here we are looking at the 11 sectors across 12 monthly review periods M1 to M12. And then more frequently in recent periods over 10 days, 5 days, etc. Cyan color represents strength, magenta represents weakness. From the 5 days column, you can see that materials and utilities are the strongest sector of the week. Healthcare and energy are the weakest sectors. Therefore, if you are looking for long opportunities, you would probably look for them in materials and utilities. If you are looking for short opportunities, you will look for them in healthcare and energy. Other than the scores, QH also calculates acceleration and deceleration of the sectors. Cyan color represents acceleration, magenta represents deceleration. 
you can see that communication services is accelerating fast and consumer staples is decelerating. Therefore, you would avoid taking long positions in consumer staples, it is decelerating and avoid taking short positions in communication services because it is accelerating. From sector analysis, we drill down into the industries. These are the 10 best performing industries of the week. We are looking at the industries 10 days and 5 days scores. Because these are strong industries, you would look for long positions in them and avoid taking short trades in these industries. Housewares and specialties is the best performing industry of the week. In this industry, we have a stock TUP that reversed from the very bottom after displaying the bullish headwind reversal signal in both weekly and daily charts. TUP has an optimal valuation and it has a dividend yield of 7.3%. It went up after earnings and is moving sideways. If it breaks out of memory resistance, it may give a value buying opportunity. This is a look at the best performing industries using QEdge, real time industry analyst. The best performing industries are shown by cyan color under 5 days column. Houseware and specialties is the best performing industries. Looking to the right, you can see that it was weak, magenta earlier, and now gained strength. We can drill down into the underlying stocks. Using the stock scorecard instantly, we can see that TUP is optimally valued. The valuation primary column is in cyan color. The dividend yield percentage shows it is giving 7.3% dividend, has strong earnings quality and has a short squeeze potential as well. Therefore, TUP is in a very strong industry. Fundamentally, it's a strong stock. You would look for a buy opportunity if there is a trade setup on technical charts. TUP using Q at a glance template. In the weekly chart, it displayed a bullish headwind at the very bottom. Since then, price is going up. The weekly candle color is bullish, cyan, and the candle shape is bullish as well. In the daily also, it displayed a bullish headwind at the very bottom. Price retested that area and reversed immediately. During earnings, it gapped up and since then it is moving sideways. Friday's candle color is green, bullish. If it can break out of the memory resistance line, then you may look for a low risk buy opportunity in TUP. Worst performing industries of this week. We are looking at their 5 days and 10 days scores. 5 days scores are low for all these industries. Normally, you would look for short opportunities in the worst performing industries. Sometimes though, among the carnage, you can look for buy opportunities. You can do that using the extreme reversal trade setups that are there in Q systems, namely bounce trade setup based on exhaustion or reversal trade setup using the Q headwind signal. This week we have a live example a possible buying opportunity at the very bottom. That is in department stores. It is the second worst performing industry of the week. In this industry, KSS, M, DDS and JWN fell between 11.5 to 
two percentages in one week. Those were very large drops. Using Q scorecard, you will see that KSS, M and DDS are optimally valued. KSS and M also have earnings growth in the recent quarter. Out of these four stocks, DDS and M already gave the extreme reversal exhaustion based bounce long signal on Friday and KSS JWN may give bounce setup in coming days. Worst performing industries in QH they are shown using magenta color under 5 days column. Department stores is the second worst performing industry of the week. It is weak for a while. In earlier periods, it was cyan. It was strong at that time, but now it is clearly weak. Let's drill down into the underlying stocks. Instantly, from the valuation column, you can see that DDS, KSS, and M are optimally valued. They are in cyan color. KSS and M also have positive earnings growth in the latest quarter. DDS and M has short squeeze potential as well. They dropped by huge percentages in this week. These stocks are in the second worst performing industry. However, fundamentally, they are strong. Most of them are strong you may look for extreme reversal buying opportunities in them using Q unambiguous checklists. DDS, the stock had a sharp drop. It stopped precisely at the weekly memory support level. Activity was extremely high. In the daily chart, during earnings, it dropped sharply, stopped at the quarterly pivot level, and reversed up. The down day had very high activity, and on Friday, we had the reversal day with very high activity as well. As price dropped suddenly and sharply, hit a pre-existing support level, and reverse from there, DDS gave a bounce long setup on Friday. You could take it using stock long position or using short put verticals. M, this stock also dropped sharply. In the daily chart, it hit the memory support line on Thursday and on Friday, price reversed from there. M had heavy activity in the down days and on Friday, the reversal day, it had heavy activity as well. Again, price dropped sharply and suddenly hit the pre-existing daily memory support line and reversed from there with very high activity. That made all the checklist conditions for a bounce long trade setup. Therefore, AIM gave a bounce long trade setup on Friday. KSS price dropped sharply this week with very high activity. It tried to go below the weekly memory support line but reversed back up, creating a false downside breakout. In the daily, price dropped sharply, hit the memory support lines and reversed from there on Friday. Next week, if it continues to go up, it will give a bounce long trade setup. JWN dropped sharply in the weekly chart. It has gone below the weekly memory support lines. In the daily, it had a sharp drop. Price went below the daily memory support line. If next week, price can go up and close above the memory support in daily, 
it will give a bounce long trade setup. Four stocks in the same industry all fell heavily, all came to memory trend line support levels. Two of them already reversed DDS and M gave bounce long setup, and KSS and JWN may give bounce long setup next week. When multiple stocks in the same industry move in a similar fashion, you may have more confidence in taking a trade in that movement's direction. Accelerating industries. These industries may be behind, however, gaining strength fast. You will look for long opportunities in these industries. We are looking at the industries 5 days and 10 day scores. The 5 day scores are much higher than the 10 day scores showing acceleration. Four of the most accelerating industries are in material sector. These are copper, aluminum, diversified metals and mining and steel. This sector, material sector, is also accelerating as a whole and is the best performing sector of this week. It is the right time to start looking for buying opportunities in material stocks. In aluminium industry, ACH is only 12.2% above 52 week low. It is making a nice base in the weekly chart. It has optimal valuation. We can see that from Q scorecard and has a short squeeze potential as well. It may be a prominent beneficiary if the USA China trade conflict dials down. SCH has primary business in China. You may look for a buying opportunity in the coming days using Q technical charts. Back to the sector scorecard and heat map. Materials is the best performing sector of this week with the best score of 11 and the pace column is showing that it is accelerating. The second most accelerating sector of the week. From industry scorecard, we can see the accelerating industries. They are shown using cyan color under pace 5 days column. Aluminium is one of the accelerating industries. It was very weak earlier shown by magenta color and now it is turning cyan. Drilling down instantly we can identify ACH. It is optimally valued cyan color under valuation primary column and it has a short squeeze potential. The sector materials is now strong. Aluminium industry is accelerating and we have a stock ACH that is optimally valued. This may give a lucrative buy opportunity if there is a trade setup on technical charts. ACH, it's a company based in China. In the weekly chart, it is creating a nice base after a sharp drop. The weekly candle colors have turned cyan bullish for two successive weeks. In the daily chart, it is inside a triangle pattern. There are two possible ways to take a long position in this stock. One would be to take a long position if price comes to the memory support again and reverses from there. Another would be price breaks out of the memory resistance lines. You may look for a buy opportunity in SCH, especially if there is a sign of thaw in the US-China trade relationship. Decelerating industries. These industries were strong earlier, now losing momentum. We are looking at their 5 days and 10 day scores. The 5 day scores of these industries are significantly lower than 10 day scores. 
showing they are decelerating. If we look for short opportunities in them, Q scorecard using QA shows all the decelerating industries. Publishing is one of them. It is not in this list because it is not one of the worst 10 decelerating industries. However, publishing is also losing strength and decelerating. MDP in publishing industry has medium valuation, negative earnings growth over last three annual as well as last three quarterly periods. It has a possible swing short signal, go with flow short setup in the daily chart. Weekly candle shape is now bearish. You may look for a low risk shorting opportunity in coming days. Decelerating industries are shown in Q edge using magenta color under 5 days base column. Publishing is one of the decelerating industries. It was strong earlier, cyan color. Now it weaken with deceleration. If we drill down, we see MDP is medium valued yellow color under valuation column and it has negative earnings growth for all the three years as well as for the three recent quarters. Earnings quality is poor. The industry is decelerating. The stock has medium valuation with decelerating earnings growth, negative earnings growth. This stock is the right stock to look for short opportunity. You would not look for a buy opportunity in this stock. Short trade may be taken if there is a low risk entry setup using Q charts. MDP using at a glance template. One week ago, it displayed a very bearish shape candle. This week, price went down. The weekly candle shape is again bearish with long upper tail as well as a solid body. In the daily chart, price gap up after earnings, however, pulled back. Tried to go up and then on Friday, it dropped sharply. Friday ended with a very bearish shape and bearish color candle, magenta color candle. In daily, it has given us a go with flow trend following short trade setup. The weekly candle color is still bullish. You might not take a short trade on Friday. However, next week, if price continues to go down, you may use Q fine tune intraday chart to take a precise short entry in the stock. Such entries are very low risk entries because they use intraday 5 minute or 10 minute intervals to decide the stop level. Time to summarize. The market breadth shows indecision. Both NASDAQ and NYSE broad indices are moving with lower highs and higher lows inside triangle patterns. The broad market ETFs are also indecisive. All the weekly candles have indecisive shape. Market is indecisive, however, by aligning the strengths or weaknesses of industry, fundamental and technicals, you can always look for long or short opportunities. We could identify such trades in the past week and we saw several possible trade opportunities in the coming week. That is all that I wanted to share in today's session. Thank you for joining. I look forward to seeing you in our next session. Have a great weekend and trade profitably.